good morning children i hope you enjoyed your holidays very well ready for the next term you are ready to learn the next lessons for the next class i am annapurna your science teacher today we are going to see in the first lesson first term first lesson is green world children we are surrounded by the nature in the nature we have rivers mountains plants trees creepers etc in the first lesson we will see about the plants how they reproduce how they grow and the life of the plants we will see the lesson now green world in this lesson in the picture what all you are seeing tell me the names yes you are seeing the birds plants animals river human being everything under the sky what do you know about this picture what do you understand yes we are all living under the sky and very good harmony that means each creature is depending on other so we are all living in the same universe with an harmony so we will see what kind of help we take from each other what help we give to others shall we see chain of life the picture above shows the connection that exists between sun plants birds and human beings the plants are able to produce the food needed for their existing using solar energy from the sun the birds and human beings depend on plants for their food birds build their nest in the trees trees give shade from the given picture you might have learned the connection that exists between the living and non living factors likewise choose different living and non living factors and tabulate the dependence that exist between them serial number 1 water grass deer the life connection between them water is essential for the growth of grass deer eats grass as their food water is necessary to quench the thirst of the deer so you will write few factors and you will do the connection between them the next subheading pollination arun and kavita came back from their school after having their snacks they went to their garden they watered the tomato plants kavita asked her brother how are fruits and vegetables produced by plants arun plucked a flower from the plant and showed it to his sister arun kavita look at this flower this is the stigma this is the style the lower part is called the ovary the pollen grains in the anther goes to the stigma and fertilization takes place within the ovary
the ovary becomes the fruit and gets ripened the ovule becomes the seed and gets embedded there the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the flower, same flower is called self pollination now children you eat different kinds of fruits what all the fruits you eat yes you eat apple guava chiku mango okay strawberry yes so on so in all these fruits you see apart from the fruit part you have a seed in it okay so every fruit has a seed now you are going to learn how the seed is getting that is coming into existence so that is what the fertilization or the pollination is taking in the flower we are going to see okay the seed you see in the fruit okay how does that seed come to exist the pollination helps the plant to grow in different ways and a new plant comes from the seed that seed is coming only through the pollination okay you understood that kavita how does the pollen grains reach the stigma arun haven't you seen insects butterflies and bees flying from one flower to the other when they fly they carry the pollen of one flower and it reaches the stigma of another flower the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a particular flower to the stigma stigma of another flower of the same kind is called cross pollination cross pollination can also take place through air see i told you about the seeds so these seeds you eat the fru fruit and you leave the seed wherever you feel like okay now these seeds they go travel in different ways to some soil and from there another new plant grows from the seed that you have thrown okay now these seeds how do they travel how do they go to different places and how they get growing there we will see spreading of seeds arun and kavita each ate a mango and threw the seeds in their backyard after a few days kavita happened to see a new plant growing there look at this plant who planted this here asked kavita to arun arun answered kavita do you remember the mango seeds thrown by us the other day it is a new mango plant shoot from that this shows that seeds are scattered in farms and fields not only by the action of the plants themselves but also by the effort of